Hello everyone and in this lecture we are going to pass the data from template to view and we do that using get request or post request so to specify those requests we have to mention the method attribute in the form tag for this case we are going to use the get request and when we enter the data in our input tag and submit it we need to somehow get the data from that input field and you can do that by giving a name to the input field and whenever you just submit the value we get we can get the value from that input tag using the name of that input so let us give it a name attribute and call it search term save it and now if you go to the browser and refresh the page here when you search anything like friend you will see in the url bar we have a name called search term and the value friend and it is showing its value because we have defined the method to be get but if we had defined it to be post it will not show the value so let us try it again using the post method and if it's the page and now when we put any value and search it currently it is showing that we have a csr of verification field so what it is doing is that it is protecting us from cross site request forgery so it is a security measure that django takes to protect sensitive data and whenever you use a method post we have to include a csrf token in the form element so let us do that and inside the form element we have to include csrf token save it now let us search the term again and you can notice that we don't have any value here and that's because we have specified the method request to be post not get so the post request doesn't show any data in the url bar but get request does and we can use the get request in where we are not entering any sensitive information but if we are entering something like our password then we should definitely use the post request for this case i'm going to use a get request now save it and whenever we submit a search result it sends a get request containing its name and value so in our views we need to get the value that is installed in the get request so let us do that in our views that by let us check if there are any value in the request dot get so we can do that by using if request dot get and if there are any value we are going to get those value from the get request so we need to get the search term i'm going to call the variable search term and get the value from get request using request dot get and square bracket and the name of the input tag that you have in your form element in this case search term so let us define it here and to show that we have actually got this search term i'm going to pass a context that again will be called search term and we'll assign its value to the search term save it and inside our search page and we are going to actually see if that source term displays or not so inside of search results for i am going to change this friend text now whatever data you enter it will show in the source page so that's how you can get the data from template to view let us also output the source term in the title tag But we have a little problem here when you only try to visit our local host slash search and it enter it will show us an error because when a user haven't passed any value in the source field the source term cannot be assigned so we have to do a few tweaks in our views file so that when we only try to visit the search without get request we want to redirect it to our home page so let us do that in our views.py file let us import our redirect function and we are going to indent the context and return keyword here okay. that will return or redirect to our home page when there are no source query submitted so save it and now if you only try to go to the search it will redirect to us the home page so what this view function is doing is that whenever we 
get a get request that contains some term we want to test that term from the request and pass it to search term and display our search template with that context but if we are not getting any of the get request we want to redirect it to our home page so that's it for this lecture let us see you in the next one